down to one. Lesson 46. This one is on conjunctions. Let me do a quick review. If I were to say x is less than 10, on my number line, what would I do? Put a open circle by 10 and draw it left with the left. Okay, very good. He's exactly right. So we're showing x, the amount, whatever I draw is less than 10. So this is less than 10. If this said less than or equal to 10, close circle. Okay, remember how I told you you can say x is less than 10. So you did that and it's also equal to 10. Okay, and you would fill it in. All right, yeah. now, now what we're going to learn to do is conjunctions, which kind of combines two of them. So this is an example of one of those. Okay. <laughs> Um, 5 is less than x is less than 10, okay? The first thing I want you to do is go in and draw you a number line, okay? And you can just put negative 5, negative 10, positive 5, positive 10, okay? Just to kind of get you started, just kind of get a roundabout. Okay, the best way to do this is just cover this up for a minute, mm -hmm. and let's go on and show what this is. So I'm going to do it above it just to help me out, okay? So x is less than 10, well, here's 10, so x is less than, it's going this way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it equal to 10? No. No, it's just less than 10, so we make sure we keep an open circle. Now, I'm not drawing it on here for a reason, okay? Now, I'm going to cover this one, and it says 5 is less than x, or you can read it the other way around, x is greater than 5. Yeah. I like to actually read it backwards yeah. and then write it, x is greater than 5. X is greater than 5. Now you just do this. X is greater than 5, so I put my circle and it goes this direction. Okay? So what you're supposed to fill in is the part that both of them make. Mm -hmm. You see that? So I'm going to erase this and erase this because X is less than 10 but it's greater than 5. This part right here is this piece. Gotcha. It's greater than 5, but it's less than 10. And neither one of them said equal to, so I don't equal to anything. See that? Mm -hmm. So then I would just bring it back down. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to fill that in. Sorry about that. Okay? Yep. And then just fill it in on my graph. And if you want to keep it above it, you can do it too. You can just leave it there. Um, sometimes it's just easier to do it like that. All right, let's do a few more. Okay, there we go. Now, this next one says negative 2 is less than x, and then it says x is less than or equal to 4. All right, so I'm going to just do one of them. x is less than or equal to 4. So if x is less than 4, then I'm going to put a 4 right here just to help me out. It's less than 4, so I'm going to put a circle right there above the 4. It's less than the 4, so it's going in this direction. But it's also equal to, you see that? X is less than 4 and equal to 4. Okay? And now we're done with this one. X is greater than negative 2. And if you want to write it over, X is greater than negative 2, you can do that. So I go over here to find negative 2. And it's greater than that but it's not equal to, so I'm just going to leave an open hole, and it's going in this direction, okay? So I'm going to erase this part and open up that circle because it's, um, over here it said x is um, less than and equal to 4, but it is x is greater than 2, so it's not equal to 2. And so what you have is this x portion that is right here. It's greater than negative 2, but it's less than 4, and it's equal to 4. So there's our portion that you would see. This part would be filled in. This part would be open. From negative 2 to positive 4 would be our line. All right? Hopefully you feel like you're getting it. Let's do a few more. <coughs> this next one says negative 5 is less than or equal to x is less than 0. Okay, again, we just want to do one part at a time. 
So x is less than 0, so here's my 0. And x is less than that, so I'm going to leave an open circle because it's not equal to, it's just less than 0. So it's going in that direction. Got it? Now, x is greater than or equal to negative 5, or you could say negative 5 is less than or equal to x. So I'm going to write it, x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So now I go over here and I go greater than and then equal to. So I'm going to fill it in and it's greater than negative 5. So it will be going in this direction. So the portion of the x is right there. It's greater than negative 5, but it's less than 0. Greater than negative 5 and equal to negative 5 and then less than 0. So that's why we didn't fill that in. All right? Last one, and we'll be done. <laughs> this next one says, um, this time they're wanting us to show a graph. For example, um, you may want to watch this one. Okay? So I'm going to draw 0, 5, 10, negative 5, negative 10. Okay? Um, and this time they're going to graph it, and then they want you to write the conjunction. Okay? So watch what I do. Okay. Let's start with one of them. Let's just start with the one to the right. X. X is which way it's from the zero? Less than. It's So X is less than the zero. Is it equal to the zero? No. No. So we just leave it. Okay. Now, what is our X here? X is greater, same thing going to the right of this number right here. X is greater than negative 5, but it's also equal to. So it's greater than negative 5, and it's equal to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I've got those two written down. But I have to write it as a conjunction. Yeah. So, hopefully you remember from the last ones we've done, if I were to turn this around where the X is on the other side, because we need it to be, this would read X greater than or equal to negative 5. That is the same thing as that. Right? X is greater than or equal to negative 5. Yeah. Negative 5 is less than or equal to X. Yeah. X is greater than or equal to negative 5. So I put it in this form, and now I'm just going to bring it up here. Negative 5 less than or equal to my X is already there. Mm -hmm. See how I did that? Yeah. Does that make sense to do it like that? Hopefully yeah, it does. It does. Okay, so now that we have it in the conjunction form, we want our X in the middle and everything else on the side. And that is lesson 46. I'm going to do 46.4 example just so you can see that. Sorry about that. So here's what it says. It says write the conjunction that designates the numbers that are greater than negative 1 and less than or equal to 5. So we're wanting to show that x, show the numbers that are greater than negative 1. So the numbers, x, is greater than negative 1. And then we want to show that x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so we've got x is greater than negative 1 and x is less than or equal to 5. One of them's got to be on one side and one's got to be on the other, okay? I don't care how you do it. You can put this one first and then this one second or flip it around and do the other way. I'm just going to put our negative 1 first. So this says x is greater than negative 1. The opposite of that would be negative 1 is less than x, right? Mm -hmm. So we're done with that. So negative 1 is less than x, and then we already know what x equals. x is less than or equal to 5. And that answers that. So the final answer for to show greater, uh, numbers that are greater than negative 1 and less than or equal to 
five numbers that are less than or greater than negative one and less than or equal to five. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's how you do that. That's actually um, letter D is how you would do that one that I just showed you. Okay? And that is lesson 46.